bone graft. What type of bone graft can you place here? You can place either xenograft or you can place allograft material depending on the uh, beliefs of your graft. As you know, and there is a beautiful masterclass in the Tessuji channel that talks about biomaterials. And the different types of biomaterials are going to have different properties, but one of the properties that allograft material has despite of its limitation in terms of um, uh, access to it, is that it has a very quick turnover into vital bone. So situations where we have huge defects, we can actually regenerate the bone that has been lost very quickly, but the only disadvantage is the shrinkage and the loss of volume that you can suffer, okay? So the combination of allograft with xenograft, in my opinion, is the best option, but you can always use in the socket xenograft material as well that will preserve the original volumes down the road. As you can see, the emergence profile in the original architecture was completely preserved compared to the previous uh, picture with all the buckle wall that was lost with this fistula that was present. So by doing these kind of uh, treatments to our patients uh, without having to extract the tooth and wait for two, three months until everything is fully healed and expecting some volume changes and then the need of new regeneration, uh, you know, you, you change a little bit the rules of the game. You change a little bit the game and that's, it's the moment to change the, uh, sometimes the rules of the game. As you can see, the buckle regeneration was completely uh, regenerated. And with the CBCT, the day of the extraction implant placement, you can prove that the buckle plate at least was fully filled with bone graft. Obviously, these CT scans, lack of ev 